Fall is in full swing here in New England, and that means embracing all the new flavors that the season has to offer and the smells. I can already smell. We have the fall candle going in here, and it smells so good. So good. We're gonna, <laughs> we have mixologist Steve Hulla from the Peregrine at the Whitney Hotel with us this morning. Thank you for being with us bright and early. Anytime. <laughs> Are you telling me that it's time to trade in the Aperol spritz with, like, the pumpkin spice cinnamon flavors now? Definitely. <laughs> um, I, I would have said so. Pumpkin spice, spice seems to be a very common thing uh -huh. over the fall season. Um, I try to avoid going for that flavor. <laughs> One of the cocktails on there, we use more apple and cinnamon. So. But this looks amazing. Yeah. What do you have here for us? It's really good. So we'll go with the three highlights of the menu. So mm -hmm. we've got an apple orchid martini, a bacon fat washed old fashioned, and in espresso and chocolate old fashioned too. Oh my gosh. Candied bacon as yep. a garnish? Candied bacon on the garnish for the old fashioned. Yep, it's and perfect. And what kind of rim do you put on this one? So on this one, you've got a, it's got a cinnamon and powdered sugar rim. In it, that complements with the apple liqueur that we use inside there, along with the cranberry. So it's a very, it's a very nice drink to have at any point in your meal, any so, type of journey in the rest. So for people at home who kind of want to recreate those favorite cocktails and mocktails, but make it fall, are there certain flavors, ingredients that maybe they should look at? Cinnamon? Uh, cinnamon, I would have said, was a really good one. Combine that, again, with apple. I feel like it gives you a nice kind of flavor of like apple pie kind of dessert type of thing. I mean, you could always go the standard and do like pumpkin spice and whatnot because everyone goes crazy for things like that. Oh, Anna um, does. <laughs> yeah, which, which isn't a bad thing at all. Don't worry. But you're trying to do something different yeah, here. Yeah, just something a little bit different. Um, again, pumpkin spice might make it onto the menu at some point. Um, but yeah, I mean, apple and cinnamon is always a good flavor. So with nutmeg, you could also do that as a rim too. Ooh, and all of these, are they available at the Peregrine at the yes, Whitney? Yes, they're available. To be fair, we have them on a fall fest menu currently. Mm. But as long as we've got all the ingredients in, we can make it year round. And Anna, don't oh. worry, because it's only a few more weeks until you can try I some know, of these. I know, but in yeah. the meantime, you did make me a mocktail. What's this one? I did. So this one <laughs> Thank you. This one, this one doesn't have a name currently. This is what just a the nice Anna? The Anna? The Anna. Yeah, we'll call it the Anna. Okay. Call it the Anna. I love the, that. What about the orange Anna? Orange yeah. Anna. Redhead, the redhead, it the redhead. Works. It yes. works, Oh my guys. gosh, why is that so cute? Yeah. So how did you make that? So this one, main base flavor has marzipan, so it's similar to like a mm. non-alcoholic amaretto sour served straight up it's a nice good mix if you like amaretto that's you don't, i do i do pinkies up girl and, and then this one you have something special to show us with the garnish yeah, so i'm excited yeah show us it gets garnished with marshmallows but the pièce de résistance Ooh. is to take <laughs> like a step back there playing with fire but we're being safe Ooh. oh my gosh and tell us one more time what kind of cocktail that is so that one is an this one yes mm -hmm. it's an espresso infused Bourbon mixed with chocolate liqueur, got some vanilla in there. Oh, it's a very nice after dinner drink. You could have it any time. And then you like have the marshmallows fire. on top. It's like a s'more. Well, mm -hmm. one, you have to smell this, Anna. It's good. Smell. It smells like a little campfire. Mmm, that's delicious. And you guys are located on Beacon Hill, right? Yes, Beacon Hill, um, 170 Charles. Um, right by the tea station, so it's very easily accessible. Are these it's your so favorite good. kind? Is this your favorite season for creating drinks? All seasons are good for me. <laughs> Being English, I'm used to making drinks year round. Right here, so. Ooh, Anna, take well, a sip. I'm going to take a little sip of this mocktail. Yeah, sure, thank you so much. Well, Steve, thank you so much for joining us and bringing mm. a little bit of the fall flavor. Well, hopefully, with when you. people pop in, we'll try. Yeah, yeah, great advice for making them at home too. Thank All you. All right, we'll be right back.